not suicidal. That's what I was about to say. Okay. I am not suicidal. Okay. I am not suicidal. I am innocent, and I am not suicidal. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you and I respect the jury, but I did not do this. Perhaps one of the better performances of his life, Jesse Smollett, the actor, now is going to spend tonight in jail, 150 days in jail, 30 months on federal probation, restitution of $120,000 a fine of $25,000, felony, not federal probation. The former Empire star was convicted on five of six counts of disorderly conduct for faking a hate crime back in 2019. He claimed he was assaulted on a cold night in Chicago by racist MAGA hat wearing assailants who poured a chemical on him and put a noose around his neck. As you heard, Smollett stands by his story. Philip Turner, criminal defense attorney who's been spot on with this case from the very beginning, uh, former federal prosecutor as well. All right, Counselor, I feel like the only surprise here is 150 days in jail. Well, I, I think so. I think that the defense and most people thought that he was going to get probation and walk out of court and continue this charade. But that didn't happen. And um, Dan Webb did an excellent job in terms of presenting the aggravating factors and why he should have to serve time. Uh, obviously, there's the perjury and also the tremendous damage that uh, Mr. Smollett did to other victims, true victims of these kinds of crimes. Plus the scary thought that I, I have the impression that this fellow, if they had arrested someone on this offense, he would have gotten on the stand and testified that somebody did something to him when it didn't happen. And we'd have an innocent person sitting in prison because of this person. And we know that uh, for a long time, the Chicago police treated this as the real deal and they were out looking for people. You can just imagine if there was some guy who had been wearing a MAGA hat that night and happened to be around the subway that Jesse went to get his sandwich on. In fact, the judge said, I believe that you did real damage to hate crime victims. The person I actually felt bad for in this whole video was his old mother who was on his arm as he walked in. Um, you had to feel for her for at least uh, a second. Um, I only got about 45 seconds or so, Counselor. Sure. Is you listen to the defense today, keep saying yes. he was innocent, keep saying he wasn't remorseful, criticizing the judge on the law, reading right. all these letters from celebrities. Boy, tone deaf. Completely. That was not the tack to take. I mean, it would have been a low profile. It's it's they, they did this. They certainly uh, poured gasoline on the fire. And um, as a defense lawyer, you don't want to do that. You want to have the low key approach and try to get the, the judge to feel sorry for the person that possibly has some emotional problems, some emotional problems. that yeah, You think, to you be think he could he, and if there's anybody who could have done that, it was Jesse Smollett uh, to apologize. Hey, we got to run uh, more on this yeah. tomorrow. Certainly more on this on Prime. That's next. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.